Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. It's finally here. They've done it. They've added a focus tree for Tanatuva. So uh, Hoi 4 is officially done. Game is gone and complete. No point playing anymore. Let's just go. So here we have Tanatuva, who is led by Mr. Toko. And he is basically running an absolute dog pile of a country because... These uh, national spirits are probably the worst I have ever seen in a nation, in a modern nation, anything. I mean, that one's averagely not bad. But the rest of them are total dog turd, especially this one, 50% consumer goods. So here it is, the focus tree, what you've all wanted for years for no apparent reason apart from memes. So there is a path over here they're still doing, recognise the weak government. This is a alpha of the mod, so it's not quite done. We have got uh, destroy the oppositions. This is basically historic, you know, Soviet Union common turn. We have a nationalist side over here. Played this a few times and I found a few bugs in this. So we're going to stay clear of this one just while it's tidied up. Do give it a go, but there's a few focuses that don't really work or do anything. So we'll leave that side, but that's just usual uh, align with the Germans. But we're doing this middle path, which is communists. However, we are doing our own communism. We're not doing Stalin. So we'll work down there and then we're going to try and form Siberia and be the Siberian Empire. Well, the communist version of Siberian Empire anyway. We have two lovely research slots, which is absolutely terrible. So we'll just do the engineering to start with. We've got one division which has zero manpower and zero equipment in it. So it's just going to disappear basically as soon as we've started. One of the first times ever I've seen that we're actually losing political power just off the bat. So we're losing 0.5 per day. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, that to look forward to for the rest of the game. We do actually have a meal. I didn't notice that. So we are making guns, lots of guns, 2.5 guns a day. We obviously got no sieves. Well, we've got one, but it's consumer goods because of our, you know, 253% consumer goods. Jesus. A letter from the developers. Thank you for choosing to play my mod. You're very welcome. Feel free to put my video on your Steam page if you want to advertise. Good luck. Thank you very much. I feel like we will need it. So we'll go and unite the opposition, which gives us leaving the common turn. We remove weak government. Thank God we are improve. Oh, cock. No, we're adding extremely weak government. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Opposition seizes the capital, remove the opposition, add opposition disunited. So we are led by the provisional government and now, so a body of people, that's fine. We will go with Daisy's vision, truly reflects that of the Tanatuvan people. He envisions of a communist nation where the Tuvan people can practice culture while including their benefits. Okay, bit of political power, stability and water support, very nice. So we've got a few other focuses. We can either do these monasteries or the Tuvan dream. We can get rid of some of the negative uh, efforts. We've got a few others that we can do. Something about the mountains with Mongolia and red capital for stability. Nothing. Oh, that gives rid of national corruption. So aid the Republicans. Funny enough, we've got nothing to send to you, Spain. We'll just start with protect the monasteries then. Get rid of our extremely weak government for a very weak government. Next up, let's organise the nomads and give us some decisions to get some manpower. Because funny enough, we have zero men who are willing to take up arms for us. A few other industry bits down there. So we'll start with that, 35 days. There we go. Work with the rebels done as well. We'll do down here to establish a state bank. Get rid of some more negative stuff. So we'll promote settlement. We'll add uh, army manoeuvre for speed and let's get that xp ticking on up because obviously we're going to need i think it's 35 35 to get the portrait of that prince manpower there we go 35 xp so let us go and get us our lovely picture and uh, in the back is manpower pouring out of it buddhist tuvan university is done so that's another two research slots so we'll go and get a couple of sieves, but we have now got five research slots. So we may be small and not know what support equipment or trains are, or I don't think we know what artillery is, no. But we, we will find out pretty soon, but we can't make it anyway. Ah, Mongolia wants to sell us guns. Let's buy some guns off Mongolia. 
Uh, we're getting manpower now. We've got some guns, so let's go and get some divisions out. The Tuvan Cavalry gives us plus 20 cavalry attack and defense, but minus infantry. So it looks like we are going for cavalry by the looks of it, which is fine by me, to be fair. We need quick boys. Just looking at the political advisors, there's Heir of Genghis and this veteran cavalry officer for, for plus 20 as well. Plus this cavalry specialist, plus this one will leave us with 65% attack of cavalry and defensive cavalry. So our cavalry is going to be OP as balls. So uh, that's what we're going to go with, obviously. It's just all cav. There is basically a million political advisors, but we will take this production expert for begin with, get some more guns on the go and a bit of consumer goods down. We have got some factories now. I mean, I was going to say pumping out stuff, but not really. It's more fumbling out the end of the factories. A uh, lot of research slots. So we'll see what we can come up with. So I'm going to obviously do under the Siberian flag because the two of them one ends just there and doesn't go anywhere, which gives us claims. And then we can either do a liberation war or a conference. So I'm obviously going to try for the conference just to make it easier. Last one we need to do is the Vladinov stock issue. 490 days. What on earth is going on with that? Is that... I mean, it does say it with extra time. Oh, my God. Right, I have got to do this one. I've looked at the focus tree. So I can only do the Liberation War currently. So for the conference, I need to do that one. And then, to be fair, we need to wait till France is gone and the Germans are about to invade. So we've got time, I suppose. So we might as well do the Vladivostok issue. Um, we've obviously got like nearly two years before that comes, so that's fine. One eternity later. That is finally, finally done. We've just been building up in that time. I'm not going to bore you with 499 days. Uh, but we can now do the Siberian Conference, so we'll leave it a little bit, a couple of months, and then I'll do it just so it's closer to when Germany invade. And the Siberian Conference is done. So, no event or anything? What's going on? Oh, I've got to do some decisions. We'll get some free manpower first. Um, right, let's just start clicking, I suppose, and see what happens. Let's go for Siberia first. And they just... Does it just give it to me? Is there no decision involved whatsoever? Could the Soviets not even say no? Because I'm not even getting a notification. No, we're just, we're just getting this free land. I mean, there you go. That's the easiest Siberia you've ever seen is Tanatuvo, isn't it? Tuvo, even, sorry. Uh, brilliant. Right, I can't go any further until this last one. So we need a little bit more PP, 50, and then we can do the last one, and then we can carry on with the focus tree. We've obviously got a lot of manpower now, so let's get some new horsey boys out of the door. Right, last one, we've got the 50. Um, and we can now do the United States of Siberia, gets the event Siberia, and will be known as the Siberian State. And then we've got a lot more focuses we can do. Get some industry going and some war goals. Siberia United. I mean, why have I not changed? Why am I still Tanatuva? Um, is that right? It said it should change. I mean, I can just use this Siberia State one down here. So we'll just use this normal one. And we're now the Siberian Union of Independent Republics. I've never seen that flag. And I don't like that colour either. So... I wish I hadn't pressed that. Right, we've got all these focuses we can do now. So we've got some mills, winter training, trucks and stuff, load of industry, and then we've got a bit on the right there of uh, like war support and then a load of claims. But I don't really know if I want to continue playing this this long. Um, I think I'm just going to do the Soviets and then we'll end it there. We've got a load of units out. We do own quite a few supply hubs, so that's fine. Um, let's get this army on the front line and the Germans are obviously attacking as well so they won't be guarding our border and we'll just roll in with our horse boys that we are trying to get out at the moment we have got quite a few right Soviet Union justification done let's just go for it we're in April so it will be summertime soon let's just roll on out they're not on our border which is absolutely fine by me they've called in the mongolian so we'll also take mongolia off you as well with our horsey boys we obviously need to take a vladinov stock as well so we'll just horsey our boys down there there's a few units here but that's fine we'll just quickly surround them and then we can move these to mongolia 
So the Soviets have got probably about 300 divisions. Taken a mill already, that's not too bad, but they are sort of mounting my border quite quickly, actually. Right, Vladivostok is ours. They started funneling troops in, which is a bit annoying, but we managed to overdo them with our horsey boys. We can now use them to help Mongolia because somehow Soviets are funneling into Mongolia. I'm not sure. They must have access for China or something, but we'll be fine. Another full army will be fine. Last couple of tiles we have. Is that it? No, it's not it. A little bit more. 92%. That's fine. We've broken the back of Mongolia and horsey boys are invading Mongolia. The reverse of Genghis. There's Mongolia. Done. A few little Soviet units will just uh, mop up in these encirclements. And then we'll move these over to the Western Front. And they can push into Moscow. Right, they're all on the front now. Let's just get a full-on attack. The Soviets are almost at Stalin and Leningrad. They have Moscow, but they haven't got Stalingrad or Leningrad. 75%, uh, that's fine. We'll start pushing in once our troops are railroad in. Here we go. Oh, let's just go full-on attack. The Soviets have actually got no equipment, so that's fine. Once I get to the Urals, we can then get some cores. That's Japan, so I'm not doing that, that one. The fall of Rome, even when the Soviets are not on your back, Jim. Oh my god, Italy, what are you doing? Italy doing Italy things as usual. The fall of Leningrad, come on, I'm a little bit bored of this now. This wasn't actually that exciting to do. We've got 83%, oh for god's sake. They have taken 5 million casualties though, I must be honest. Um, we've taken 500. Come on, let's just see if we can beeline into Gorky. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's probably not Gorky, is it? But Gorky it is today. Oh, thank God. There goes the Soviet Union. Let's just grab a few tiles. I don't want too much, but we'll see what we can get out of this peace deal. And there we have it. The Siberian Union of Independent Republics. What a bloody mouthful. Is chonkier. So we split it with the Germans. Uh, this is where I'm going to leave the run here. It's a, a nice little mod. I'm looking forward to what it does in the future. It is just an alpha, like I said. So do give it a try. I'll leave a link in the description. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Comment what else you want to see. Thanks for watching. Peace out.